please remain standing. Congratulations, you made it. <laughs> well, we're all very proud of you. I am pleased to introduce Sean Souza, class of 2003 communications major, who will sing the Star Spangled Banner. Sean will be accompanied by Sandra Ligren, instructor and coordinator of the American Sign Language Deaf Studies Program, and by Genevieve Fernandez, Amy Lawrence, Audrey Mello, and Nicole Miller. They are part of the first graduating class of the Deaf Studies Program. They will perform the national anthem in American Sign Language. Thank you. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the Please be seated. <laughs> On behalf of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees, the faculty, staff, and the class of 2002, I am pleased to open the 35th annual commencement exercises at Bristol Community College. I will now introduce the members of the platform party and ask them to stand and be recognized. To my left, Mr. Michael D. Moran, the honored recipient of Bristol Community College's Distinguished Citizen Award. <laughs> Take a bow, Mike. <laughs> Mr. John Almeida, Chair of the Board of Trustees. <clears throat> Mr. Richard B. Wolfson, Vice Chair, Board of Trustees. <laughs> Mr. David Feeney, Dean of Instruction and Student Life. <clears throat> to my right, Dr. Ruth Sherman, Dean of Enrollment, Workforce and Community Development. <clears throat> and a special thrill, Ms. Eileen T. Farley, President Emerita. Dr. Richard Sobel, Dean of Administrative Services. <laughs> Ms. Maureen Sylvia, Dean of Resource Development. <laughs> Second row to my left, Ms. Marguerite Heaton, Professor of Nursing and Grand Marshal of the Academic <laughs> Procession. 
Mr. Stephen Karam, Secretary, Board of Trustees. <laughs> Dr. David S. Greer, Member, Board of Trustees. <laughs> Mr. Arthur Paul, Member, Board of Trustees. <laughs> Mr. Frederick Sullivan, Member, Board of Trustees. <laughs> Second row to my right. Member of the class of 2002 and valedictorian, Suzanne Raposo. <laughs> Ms. Nancy Norman, President, Bristol Community College Alumni Association. <laughs> Ms. Virginia Horta, member of the class of 2003, student and trustee. <laughs> Mr. Robert Bogan, member, Board of Trustees. Third row to my left, Mr. Ralph Sanford, pro retired professor of computer information systems. <laughs> Dr. Godwin Araguzo, assistant dean for business and information management. <laughs> Dr. Karen Dixon, assistant dean for developmental education. Mr. Gerald LePage, Assistant Dean of Mathematics, Science, and Engineering. <laughs> Ms. Rhonda Gabovich, Dean of Institutional Research, Planning, and Assessment. <laughs> Third row to my right, Mr. Barry McKee, Professor of Criminal Justice. <laughs> Professor McKee will deliver the last lecture. Mr. Matthew Pacheco, Student Senate President and member of the class of 2002. Mr. Raymond Lavertue, Assistant Dean for Behavioral and Social Sciences. Dr. Hope Burns, Assistant Dean for Health Services. Fourth row to my left, Ms. Patricia Massey, Retired Professor of Dental Hygiene. Ms. Bernice Festozo, Department Chair and Professor of Dental Hygiene. <laughs> Ms. Deborah Lawton, Assistant Dean for Language, Humanities, and the Arts. Thank you. I would like also to introduce and thank our two American Sign Language interpreters, Ms. Carol Fay <laughs> and Ms. Denise Shagnon. Please recognize at this time also the BCC faculty and professional staff whose fine teaching and support have made this com uh, commencement possible for the graduates. Would the faculty please rise for recognition. <laughs> the greatest faculty in the world. Dedicated to student success. I would also like to pay special tribute to our Bristol Community College Foundation. These dedicated people have volunteered their time and talent and, yes, their treasure to provide increasing support annually for scholarships, textbook loans, capital funds, and campus grants for equipment, special projects, and professional development. This has been a particularly challenging year for the college, and our foundation has provided invaluable support. Will the members of the foundation board of directors who could be with us today please stand for recognition? BCC Foundation, thank you very much. Thank you, I would like now to pay special tribute to several members of the faculty and professional staff who have rendered many years of devoted service to BCC and are retiring this year. Please stand as I call your name. With 36 years of service to the college, Dr. Richard Sobel, Dean of Administrative Services. Dr. Sobel has been with us since the very start, and uh, this place is a better place because of his presence. With 32 years of service, Margaret Heaton, Professor of Nursing. 
And J. Brian Carlos, Assistant Professor of Economics. With 28 years of service, Bernice Festozo, Professor of Dental Hygiene and Chair of the, the Department. With 20 years of service, Mary Bouchard, Professor of Business Administration. <laughs> Members of the Platform Party, my colleagues on the faculty and staff at Bristol Community College, families and friends of the graduates, and especially members of the graduating class of 2002, congratulations. We are all very proud of you and your considerable accomplishments. Early la you now form a part of the intellectual great chain of being that has been forged through the ages. Early last fall, you, as you were entering your last year here, we faced the terrible tragedy of September 11th. For the rest of our lives, we shall always have that special common bond. But throughout your career here at BCC, you have found what I have found namely that Bristol Community College is a premier learning institution, a place where students come first, and a place full of people dedicated to student success. I am sure that you would want this opportunity to express your appreciation to the faculty and staff at Bristol Community College who have played such a vital role in your success. You will be carrying them and BCC with you the rest of your lives. I have paid tribute to the faculty and staff here who have promoted your progress, but there is another group that deserves honor today, your families and friends. They have served also as colleagues in learning and providing an indispensable nourishing reservoir of support, which helps sustain you through the personal, professional, and academic challenges that you encountered. I'm sure that occasionally you tested the limits of their limitless support. I know you agree with me that today is a very appropriate time for you to express your gratitude to those family members and friends. I want you to know, too, to the family and friends that we at BCC thank you for supporting our students. Please know that we consider you as members of our BCC family. There is yet another group that rejoices with you and for you, our community. Your education brings great value to our community. As an educated citizen able to make informed and ethical choices, you have an important role to play in this society, which is in such dire need for people to point the way and uphold our values. But in the end, you are the cause of our salvation. The ultimate responsibility was yours, and you succeeded admirably. We take great pride in your achievement. And if I can leave you with one thought, it is that your learning must continue throughout your life the incredibly complex society, the global society, in which we live makes ceaseless demands upon you. Lifelong learning must become a routine process in your lives. Eric Hopper, the 20th century American social philosopher, pointed out that in times of change, the learners inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. For the world continues to change at a rapidly accelerating and dizzying pace. You must keep up for your own good and for that of this society. This commencement day recognizes a great accomplishment. However, please remember that it also marks a great responsibility, that, your use, that you use your education to practice good citizenship, to promote the general welfare, and to work for social justice. Finally, there is another image that I should like to leave you with as you depart BCC and move into the future. Poet William Butler Yeats wrote, I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly, because you tread on my dreams. As you move into that future, please carry our banner with great pride. We at BCC are very proud of you and your accomplishments. This great institution has prepared you not with all the knowledge that you will ever need, but rather with the appreciation of knowledge itself, the learning process, and an understanding of all that remains yet undone. As you move on from Bristol Community College, take with you that understanding and use all that you have been given to make this world a better place. Please know that we always stand ready to provide assistance for you. You have our very best wishes and our warmest congratulations. BCC, a place where students come first. Thank you very much.
Each year at our commencement exercises, we recognize academic excellence by honoring those students, citizen, I'm sorry, those students who graduate from the college with an outstanding academic record. Students may graduate cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. To achieve summa cum laude requires a minimum grade point average of 3.8 out of a possible 4.0. This year, a number of graduates have earned a perfect record, a straight A 4.0 average. Will these graduates please stand and remain standing as your name is called? Christine Alves, General Studies from Swansea. Michael W. Backus, Jr., Liberal Arts, Fall River. Donna W. Beebe, Liberal Arts, Portsmouth, Rhode Island. Donald N. Dupuy, Engineering Technology, North Attleboro. <laughs> Janet Farias, uh, Early Childhood Education, Somerset. <laughs> Jeanette Ferreira, Engineering Technology, Fairhaven. <laughs> Linda Ann Gowdy, Liberal Arts, Portsmouth, Rhode Island. Jane E. Patnode, Com Computer Information System, Fairhaven. <laughs> Suzanne M. Raposos, Business Administration Transfer, Fall River. <laughs> Congratulations on your extraordinary accomplishments, a perfect record. And one of our straight A graduates, as you met before, is Suzanne Raposo, who will be uh, uh, delivering the class valedictory. Suzanne is graduating today with her associate's degree from the Business Administration Transfer Program. She graduated from uh, Diamond Regional Vocational High School, where she participated in the Bristol Tech Prep Women in Technology Program, based at Bristol Community College. While a student in the Women in Technology Program, Suzanne worked with professionals in, at the Attleboro plant of Texas Instruments to construct a multi-station circuit breaker test fixture project. Can you say that? <laughs> Texas Instruments was so impressed with her work that they offered her a full-time job as a planner, a position she has held while pursuing her BCC degree. Suzanne will transfer to the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth next year to continue her studies toward a baccalaureate in business information systems. It is my pleasure to introduce the class valedictorian, Suzanne Raposo. Good morning, fellow graduates, platform guests, faculty members, family and friends. Let me begin by expressing what an honor it is for me to stand before you as this year's class valedictorian. To me, the honor of valedictorian represents the hard work, sacrifice, and accomplishments of all 2002 Bristol Community College graduates. With this achievement, I have come to understand that success does not always mean being in the spotlight. It means attempting to try, willing to learn from mistakes, and being committed to do better and be better. Harriet Montano once said, you better live your best and act your best and think your best today. For today is the sure preparation for tomorrow and all the other tomorrows that follow. This ceremony is a celebration of Harriet Montano's philosophy because it represents our best, the best of our accomplishment and the end of our educational pursuits at Bristol Community College. But with this end, there is a beginning, a beginning with new challenges, new goals, new struggles, and new dreams. For many of us, our new beginning will be to further our education, while others are eager and have found purpose in entering the workforce. The knowledge and skills we have developed 
and will apply in the workforce are powerful contributions to the future of our nation. As a member of the working community, I have learned that business and industry need employees who are reliable and have the ability to come up with solutions when necessary. The focus of education is to prepare students for the world of work and to improve the quality of America's workforce. High quality is the exceeding standard that has put America in the forefront of all nations. And it is this standard that will determine the future of America. The challenges we all face as the graduating class of 2002 are to imagine the future, know what our purpose is, take advantage of the opportunities available to us, and know that we can have a positive impact as citizens of this great nation. Every day, we should have as a goal to become world-class workers and responsible American citizens. Bristol Community College has provided us with a quality education behind a dedicated staff, in a community atmosphere, and at a price tag that has made a college education a reality for each of us. BCC's mission has long been to, con to continue to provide the proper tools for student success. The faculty and staff here at BCC have indeed achieved their goal, and we can credit our success in their efforts. Today, we are also joined by family and friends who recognize the significance of our achievements. They too are to be honored to have been part of your success. They believed in us, when we were uncertain. They motivated us when we desired to give up. And they have encouraged us to dream. In addition to being BCC students, we have accepted the challenge of completing a degree or certificate while attending to the many other roles and responsibilities in our lives. Some of us are parents and spouses. Most are employees and some are even caregivers. As I began my career as a BCC student, I soon found out that completing my degree would be a challenge, and learning would have to be balanced with my economic reality. The task I was confronted with involved working three jobs in order to pay for my college education. Of course, there were some necessary adjustments that need to take place in my life if I desire to be successful. But there were adjustments I knew I must make. At times, I felt like I had been conquered and the obstacles I had to overcome appeared invincible. But through encouragement from professors, mentors, my family and friends, I once again discovered the drive and determination I began with when I first embarked upon this journey. This experience has taught me a lifelong and valuable lesson. Hard work does pay off. We have all learned that lesson, and today we are proof of the things that can happen to people who dream and follow through. As I participated in the many opportunities afforded to me at BCC, I began to understand that college was more than just books and tests. It is the development of mastering a skill and the beginning of discovering one's interest. As I continue on my journey at the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth, I know that BCC has provided me with a solid foundation and helped me to discover my future. Fellow graduates, each one of us has the right to be honored for our accomplishments. Having this right brings forth the responsibility to give back to the educational community and assist in improving our society. We are challenged and encouraged to become productive and responsible citizens. We all chose to accept this challenge, and through it all, we have achieved. We have completed a chapter in our life, but tomorrow we will begin a new one 
that better defines our lives. Stand proud, for your hard work has earned you this moment. Lady Bird Johnson observed, education is a loan to be repaid with the gift of self. My wish for each of us is that our gift of self will be everlasting. Thank you. Thank you, Suzanne, for those inspiring words. The Honors Program at Bristol Community College offers qualified students with enhanced opportunities for academic enrichment. The following students have met the graduation requirements of the Honors Program and are recognized today as Honors Program Scholars. Will these graduates please stand and remain standing as your name is called? Iktimal Daher, General Studies, Paul River. Jacqueline M. Ferreira Dumas, Human Services, Fall River. <laughs> Linda Ann Gowdy, Liberal Arts, Portsmouth, Rhode Island. <laughs> Robin Lynn Jobert, Early Childhood Education, North Dartmouth. <laughs> Amanda Marie Johnson, Child Care, East Freetown. <laughs> Jane Simonin, Liberal Arts, Westport. David Vegas, Liberal Arts, New Bedford. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Honors Program Scholars. <laughs> the 17th Annual Ed Edward Terrell Smith Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of Edward Terrell Smith son of Edward and Mabel Smith and a 1982 graduate of Bristol Community College. It is given each year to a graduating student of high personal integrity and academic standing who is planning to continue his or her education at another college. Bristol Community College this year is proud to present this scholarship to Iktamal Daher, General Studies from Fall River. She will be transferring to UMass Dartmouth. Pick them all, please stand and be recognized. Congratulations. Going, going to Harvard. Thank you. Going to Harvard. I'm also very pleased to recognize a number of graduates who received transfer merit scholarships from a number of area colleges and universities. Would all graduates who have received transfer merit scholarships please stand as I call your name. We offer all of you our heartiest congratulations. Bridgewater State Colleges announces a scholarship to Lynn K. Fagan, Business Administration Transfer, a sonnet. <laughs> Bryant College announces scholarships awards to Michelle Reese, Business Administration Transfer, New Bedford. <laughs> Julian D. Lazaroff, Computer, Computer Information Systems, Fall River. <laughs> Sarah Ribello, Business Administration Transfer, Asenet. <laughs> Nassim Bassam, Computer Information Systems, Fall River. Janelle Racine Harvey, Business Administration Transfer, Marion. <laughs> Casimiro M. Santos, Business Administration Career, East Freetown. <laughs> you should all please remain standing. We have a list to go through. Roger Williams University announces scholarships to the following. Jacqueline M. Ferreira Dumas, Human Services, Paul River. Ashley M. Petrunt, Elementary Education, Seacom. <laughs> Shannon Marie Woods, Criminal Justice, Portsmouth. <laughs> Jennifer L. Bastille, Human Services Degree and Thanatology Certificate, Fall River. <laughs> Kurt J. Bisco, Criminal Justice, a sonnet. 
Jennifer DeCosta, Liberal Arts, Somerset. Laura Beth Pacheco, Business Administration Transfer, Fall River. The UMass Do Scholars Program announces the award of its scholarship to Suzanne Raposo, Business Administration Transfer, Fall River. <laughs> UMass Amherst announces the award of a scholarship to Mark, o I'm sorry, Mark J. DeMilo, Global Arts, New Bedford. <laughs> UMass Boston announces the award of the Foster Furcolo Scholarship to Norman D. Dutra, Jr., Elementary Education, Fall River. UMass Dartmouth announces the awards of scholarships to the following. Helena I. Almeida, Liberal Arts, New Bedford. <laughs> Sadiqe Conde, Business Administration Transfer, New Bedford. <laughs> Maureen E. Horton, General Studies, Rehoboth. <laughs> Eugene P. Jones, General Studies, New Bedford. Stephen F. Luciano, Engineering Transfer, Fall River. <laughs> Paul James Mercer, Liberal Arts, East Taunton. <laughs> Samuel Paul Nadu, Liberal Arts, Swansea. <laughs> Melissa M. Ne Nemet, Liberal Arts, Taunton. <laughs> Elizabeth Marie Rhodes, General Studies, Taunton. Alvita Rocha, General Studies, Mattapoisett. <laughs> Jennifer M. Souza, Elementary Education, Somerset. <laughs> Doreen Germain Souza, Liberal Arts, New Bedford. <laughs> the New England Transfer Association announces the award of a scholarship to Linda Ann Gowdy, Liberal Arts, Portsmouth. If there are other graduates who have received transfer merit scholarships to other colleges and universities, would you please stand to be recognized? We offer our congratulations to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am pleased now to introduce Matthew Pacheco, president of the 2001-2002 Bristol Community College Student Senate and a member of the class of 2002. Thank you. Each year, the Bristol Community College Student Senate honors one exemplary faculty member who has affected students' education and their lives in significant ways. Nominations requiring detailed information about the educator's role are solicited from the entire student body. This year's recipient is Barry McKee, Professor of Criminal Justice. <laughs> Professor McKee has been director of BCC's Criminal Justice Program since 1986. Professor McKee. Good morning. This is a strange opportunity to talk to about 4,000 people all at once, and none of you can leave. I love this. <laughs> My lectures are usually two and a half hours long, because I give them one day a week. So just get comfortable and relax. There'll be a 10 minute break about halfway through. <laughs> they told me recently I only have 10 minutes. I find it difficult to say hello in 10 minutes. But the job was now to figure out how to get two and a half hours condensed to 10 minutes. And then I realized I had a bigger problem. How do I condense 16 years of doing something I love into 10 minutes? I have no idea how I'm going to do that. But I'll try. There are a few occasions when we are recognized by our peers for things that we may have done in our jobs or careers. And that is a rather wonderful and uh, happy occasion. But to be recognized by people we serve may be the culmination of a career and is very humbling. Last year, this uh, last lecture award was created at BCC 
and the recipient was Maureen Soa. Is Maureen Soa here? Well, Maureen Soa is a friend and somebody I admire, uh, and I find them uh, to be uh, a difficult shoes to fill, but I'll give it my best shot. In considering what I would say, were this really my last lecture and my last opportunity to address students, I found myself somewhat overcome with a sense of loss. I think that most of us, most faculty members, staff members, feel that same sense of loss every year when we watch you walk across this stage for the last time. John J. Chapman, in his work, Memories, Mem yeah, Memories and Milestones, said that benevolence alone will not make a teacher, nor will learning alone do it. The gift of teaching is a particular talent and implies a need and a craving on the part of the teacher himself. Maybe that's a desire to make the world a better place, maybe a desire to ensure that we grow as people, and then the petty jealousies and hatreds we harbor. I don't know, but it is a craving. Look around you, to your left and your right. You can see many people who have made a difference in your lives. People who were strangers two years ago, who are now a part of your life and are a part of your future. People who helped you find the road you were looking for. What I would like to say, if indeed this were my last lecture, would be to explore and to suggest four concepts. Learn, think, teach, and respect. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, who wrote the Sherlock Holmes novels, said it is a capital mistake to theorize before one has data. Making decisions without information is, based, is a basis for trouble, racism, sexism, stereotyping. All kinds of hatreds are based on ignorance. The old saying that what you don't know won't hurt you is the worst kind of a lie. There is an interesting question asked often to academics. Uh, I was asked this a number of years ago, and that is, how do we know what we know? I don't have the answer. I'm sure there are many answers, but I do know that we must never stop learning. Never feel as if we have learned enough. Never accept the status quo. And never stop questioning. Question everything. Socrates said the unexamined life is not worth living. I believe that we think we know it all, we stop seeking to learn, and when we stop learning, we cease to grow and contribute, and when we no longer contribute, we cease to have value, and we die. Learn. Never stop learning. My late father used to say, education is the one thing no one can take away from you. And that has stayed in my head for many years. He was not an educated man, and he worked very hard to provide access to education for his children. He had no formal education, but he was constantly seeking to learn and to know and to share. While it took a long while for this to sink in, those values have become a great part of my life. And this is something I wish to share with you. Think. Diogenes, when asked which learning was the most important, said, not to unlearn what you have learned. Seems obvious, but just as muscles atrophy if they're not exercised, so too education diminishes if we fail to use it, if we fail to think. Thinking helps us to use what we have, helps us to integrate new concepts, to become stronger, and to grow as people and citizens of this tiny planet. 
you ever notice, by the way, when you're sitting listening to somebody's speech and they turn pages, you think, I wonder how many more pages there are? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> Teaching. In the book of Ecclesiastes, it's written, Consider that I labored not for myself only, but for all them that seek learning. Ask yourself, who seeks learning? And what part do I play in this? And understand one very important thing. You are all teachers. Think of how many people learn from you every day and what they learn from you. In this country, we speak a great deal about rights, but we rarely shout about responsibilities. While we have rights, we often fail to recognize that these rights end at the next person's nose. You have the right to do absolutely anything you like, as long as it does not adversely affect anybody else or diminish their rights. In order to ensure the preservation of our rights, we must accept the responsibility for the rights of all others. People are watching. Your children are watching. And you are a teacher, whether you like it or not. Be very careful about what you teach. Abraham Lincoln said, you cannot escape the responsibility of tomorrow by evading it today. Safeguard your rights and the rights of your children by taking responsibility for everything you do and everything you teach. Respect. One of the most important things you can teach, as Aretha Franklin said, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me. There is, no, I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> there is nothing more important in my opinion than respect. Everything else is based on it. Respect yourself first, because you must respect yourself before you can respect anybody else. And understand that if you don't respect other people, you don't respect yourself either. You have a place in this society because you are part of this society. Take care of it, respect it, and teach others to respect it. In 1854, Chief Seattle said, man did not weave the web of life. He is merely a strand in it. Whatever he does to the web, he does to himself. Never lose sight of your place in society. Never lose sight of your responsibility to teach. Never lose sight of the necessity to first learn so you can be prepared to think in a reasonable, rational, and responsible way so that you may teach others who look to you for guidance. And the first thing you should teach should be respect. Respect for nature, because you are part of nature. We are part of nature. This is my desire for you, my charge, my challenge to you. You can and will make a difference, believe me. Margaret Mead said, never doubt that a small group of highly motivated people can make a difference. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. So I'll leave you with one thought that I hope will guide your choices for the future. In Miguel Cervantes' work, Don Quixote de la Mancha, as Don Quixote lay on his deathbed, knowing that the world thought him mad, said, maybe the real insanity is seeing the world the way it is instead of the way it should be. Take what you have learned Think about it often, teach it to those you love, and respect all people, for we are all one. And if you do these things, the world will be what it should be. You are the best, and I wish you well. Thank you very, very much.
This year we are honoring two of our outstanding former faculty members, Patricia Massey and Ralph Sanford, by designating them Professors Emeriti. Faculty peers select these individuals for this honor. This is an honorary title which corresponds to the position last held during active service. It comes from the Latin marire and is in recognition of meritorious service. I am pleased to introduce Bernice Fastoso, department chair and professor of dental hygiene, who will read the citation for Professor Emerita uh, Patricia Massey. It is my pleasure to introduce Patricia Massey, Professor Emerita of Dental Hygiene. By your zeal for the profession and your commitment to professional development, you served as an exemplary role model for the students under your tutelage. Colleagues, students, and visitors to the Dental Hygiene Clinic benefited from your gentle words and generous acts of kindness. As sophomore clinical coordinator, you manage the complex scheduling required to ensure that each student received extensive clinical experience in all aspects of the profession. Ever the consummate professional, you imparted to your students more than just skills and knowledge. With warm encouragement, you set the highest standards of professionalism and provided support for your students to attain that lofty goal. Congratulations. To all who made this day possible for me, my friends, my family, my colleagues, thank you. And good luck, graduates. Enjoy life. It's really a great ride. Enjoy it. I am pleased to introduce Dr. Godwin Araguzzo, Assistant Dean for Business and Information Management, who will read the citation for Professor Emeritus Ralph Sanford. Ralph Sanford, Professor Emeritus of Computer Information Systems, an educator in a field characterized by constant change. You were an innovator and motivator, continually revising and rewriting curriculum to ensure that the computer information system maintained state-of-the-art standards and relevancy. Although always looking to the future, you were firmly rooted in the currency of the classroom, patiently tutoring and directing your students to develop the ability to solve complex issues. Ever cordial and collegial, you willingly gave of your considerable expertise so the college's administrative and academic computing infrastructure would serve us well into the 21st century, June 1st, 2002, Bristol Community College, Fall River, Massachusetts. Congratulations, Professor Ralph Sanford. Thanks for the memories, and best of luck to all of you. I am so honored. I would now like to introduce Mr. John Almeida, Chair of the Board of Trustees and a Bristol Community College alumnus, who will present the 2002 Bristol Community College Distinguished Citizen Award. Mr. Almeida. Good morning, soon-to-be fellow alumni. Each year, the Board of Trustees honors an individual 
who has made a distinguished contribution in the field of health, education, business, labor, government, or the arts, and whose character and achievements have enriched the life of our community. This year, the board has selected Michael D. Moran, Director of Development and Marketing for Family Service Association of Greater Fall River and talk show host on WSAR 1480. Mr. Moran, please come forward. The citation reads as follows. The Bristol Community College Board of Trustees hereby names Michael D. Moran the 2002 Distinguished Citizen of the Year. A lifelong resident of Southeastern Massachusetts, you dedicate your many and varied talents and abilities to improving life in our region and beyond. Your professional career is rich in scope and influence. As Director of Development and Marketing for the Family Service Association of Greater Fall River, you advance an agency that assists our community's most vulnerable residents. As morning talk show host at WSARAM, you expertly stimulate conversation and explore ideas in order to illuminate some of society's most challenging issues. Often called upon to moderate forums and debates, you ensure that proceedings remain rational and enlightening by setting the tone with your firm and gentlemanly manner. Your service extends to your personal time as you volunteer on a variety of community boards and committees. Another personal contribution is your role as a well-known professional musician. The professional and personal care came together in the aftermath of 9-11, when you joined a critical incident response team to support the first responders of the New York City Police Department. You reached out to comfort and counsel those laboring in the heartbreaking remains of the World Trade Center. As an outstanding citizen, your character and achievements enrich our community. You illustrate the power of commitment and the effect one man can have in a changing and complex world. Given this first day of June 2002 at Fall River, Massachusetts, signed President uh, John J. Sprager and John Almeida, Chairman of the Board of Trustees. Congratulations. My gift to the uh, graduating class and to all assembled here is, is brevity. Um, I am honored to receive this award from this institution. I am grateful to President Spraga, to Chairman Almeida, the members of the Board of Trustees, and to the members of the BCC Foundation. Um, I would, you get a lot of advice when you graduate. Uh, one little piece of advice that I would give is to do some volunteer work. Uh, the rewards are many and in whatever professional and further academic pursuits you may chase after, please include some volunteer work and give back to the community. It's very, very important, and it will pay you back many, many times over. Congratulations. This is your day to the graduates. Good luck, and thank you. The President's Award, known as the Mace and Shield, is presented each year to a graduate who has rendered the highest quality service to the college and who has demonstrated outstanding leadership. The awards ceremony committee, consisting of faculty, staff, and students, makes the selection. The name of the recipient is inscribed on a plaque which is located permanently at the college. The, the plaque is inscribed as follows. Mace and Shield Award, leadership and character, honor and integrity, 
awarded by the college president to an outstanding student as voted by members of the college community. I am pleased this year to uh, present the president's award to Douglas J. Carrier, Computer Information Systems of Fall River. Mr. Carrier. Douglas J. Carrier. Today, as you graduate from Bristol Community College, you become members of an active and esteemed organization, the Bristol Community College Alumni Association. Here to welcome you as full members of the association is Nancy Norman, class of 1989, president of the BCC Alumni Association. Nancy Norman. As president of Bristol Community College Alumni Association, I am pleased and honored to be here this morning to say congratulations, class of 2002, and best wishes from the more than 20,000 alumni who have preceded you. Sit back, look around you, and take a deep breath. You did it. This is your day. It's a day to celebrate your achievements and your accomplishments while at BCC with your family and friends and all of your BCC family. Look to the future, future with your eyes wide open and your hopes and dreams in hand. Reflect on your days here with a smile. Let the world know you're a BCC graduate. Be proud of it. Wear it well. Remember as new ambassadors to encourage others to come to Bristol Community College. And as you achieve your future goals, save a little time for your alma mater. For without you, we will not be able to continue our alumni mission, which is to assist all of our alumni and future alumni with information and services through educational, cultural, and fundraising activities. Let me thank all of you who have already made your first contribution to our alma mater through your class gift. Stay in touch with us. Let us know how you're doing personally and professionally. We'd like to share your progress through the BCC newsletter briefing. In closing, I welcome you to the Bristol Community College Alumni Association. Congratulations on this great achievement. Uh, it is my pleasure to introduce the Student Senate President, Matthew Pacheco, who will share the results of the class of 2002's first fundraising raising activity this spring. The Student Senate worked with the BCC Alumni Association to raise funds to support this year's Class of 2002 gifts to the college. The Student Senate also voted to match the amount raised by the project. I am proud to announce that this collaborative effort raised $1,700, which will be given to support the Farley Learning Resource Center. Good job.
Thank you, Matthew. That's quite a gift. <clears throat> I now present Mr. John Almeida, Chair of the Board of Trustees, to authorize the conferral of degrees. Thank you, President Sprague. For those of you who, who don't come to many of these, when I speak, that usually means we're coming to an end. Isn't that good news? <laughs> coming to the end of your stint here at Bristol Community College, coming to the end of my stint at Bristol Community College, I've been honored to serve here for 10 years completing my 10th year. Sister Kathy Harrington, who's not with us today, completed her 10th year. We both started on the same day. She was replaced on our board by uh, Fred Sullivan, who's up on the platform. Great honor to serve as a trustee. Great honor to be an alumnus serving as a trustee, serving as chairman of the board. Unbelievable. My privilege, my pleasure. You've heard a lot of quotations today from a lot of famous people. I have a couple I need to throw you away. Uh, more contemporary quotes. Yogi Berra. Some of you don't know who Yogi Berra is. He's a Hall of Fame Yankee catcher. Yogi has a, a book written about some of his famous quotes. One of his quotes was, I don't understand this pizza joint I go to. They always ask me all the time if I want my pizza cut in eight slices or six. And I tell them I could never eat eight. All right, that's not bad. Another one of his famous quotes, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. <laughs> now, while the, the English professors and, and the philosophy teachers may not agree with me on this, I find that statement profound. Because if you think about it, when you come to a fork in the road, you've got a choice to make. You can either turn around and go back, or you can go left or right. Yogi, Yogi didn't make a big deal of it. He said, no, where I lived, you had to take the fork in the road because it went right around. It came right back to where you were anyhow, you know? So uh, he was very simplistic about it. We face forks in the road every day. You may have faced them today. You've got hundreds of your fellow classmates who couldn't be here today for whatever reason because they came to a fork in the road. Could be family, it could be a job commitment. Who knows what it was? But it was a fork in the road. Life is one giant fork in the road. You've got to keep making decisions, hopefully the right ones. Continue your quest for education. You can never get enough of it. It's very important. Another quote from a contemporary. A gentleman named Godwin Araguzo. Maybe you've heard of him. This is my second of three commencements <clears throat> that I'm attending on behalf of the college. Made a quote very profound quote the other evening. We're at honors night where he said, go forth and multiply your wallets. I thought that was terrific because I hope you all do go forth and multiply your wallets and never forget where you got the start to do that and give a little bit of it back. You know, our distinguished citizen of the year who's a volunteer made a very good statement by saying, try to find some time to give a little back. If you can't find the time, try to find the money. We've got over 20,000 alumnus now. That's incredible. Imagine if we all gave 10 bucks a year, the $200,000 a year that this, this college could really use. Before I close, I'd like to recognize one person up on the platform here that President Sprague had mentioned about, a fellow who I got to know quite well with my 10-year stint here, who's so very responsible for the beauty of this campus, its library, and, and a hundred other things, Dean Richard Sobel, who has spent 36 years of his life here making this place a better place.
now while why we are all here as chair of the Bristol Community College Board of Trustees I am honored to authorize Bristol Community College under the powers invested in the board by section 10 chapter 15 a of the general laws of the Commonwealth to award the associates in arts and associate in science degrees and appropriate certificates to those candidates who in the judgment of the college have successfully met the requirements for graduation. Shall we begin? And now, Dean of Instruction and Student Life, David Feeney, will present the candidates. Would the candidates for graduation please rise? I have the honor to present these candidates for the degrees of Associate in Arts and Associate in Science and for the certificates. I certify on behalf of the faculty that those receiving their degrees today have completed all the requirements for each degree or certificate as set forth by the college and the board of trustees. Congratulations. Thank you, Dean Feeney. It's now time to award the degrees. <laughs> Will the first row of graduates please come to the right side of the stage. The rest of the candidates may be seated. Graduates will cross the stage in the order indicated on the program. We ask family and friends please to keep the way clear for our graduates and other members of the audience. A professional photographer will capture the graduate as he or she crosses the stage and I and others will be available in the Commonwealth College Center for photos after the ceremony. Please withhold your applause until all degrees and certificates have been awarded. Dean Feeney. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Art Transfer, Patrick Shaw Andrews. <laughs> Keith Borges. Sarah W. Kasich. Cum laude. Kelly Ann Messier. <laughs> Stephanie N. Paiva. Martha D. Schwindlig. Lori A. Taylor, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of the Business Administration Career Program. Christy Lee Almades, cum laude. Anna L. Almeida. Sandra A. Banville. Michael Wayne Boisvert. Roy M. Broom, magna cum laude. Tanya Lee Carvalho, Belinda Centeo, Raquel Fagioli, magna cum laude, Kathleen A. Gallant, summa cum laude, Erica Govea, Elizabeth Jones, magna cum laude, Lisa M. Kelsey, Heather Sue LaRue, Sarah A. Liber Liberty, cum laude, Joseph D. Le Leandre, Brian Lanares, William T. Long, magna cum laude, Lisa M. Middleton, cum laude. Catherine Oliveira, cum laude. 
Amy Elizabeth Pacheco. Rui Pereira. Stacy M. Rose. Casimiro M. Santos, magna cum laude. Kerry Schultz, summa cum laude. Lauren Jean Schaap, magna cum laude. Peter Michael Silva. Joseph A. Simeo. David M. Snow. Nellie Soares Madero, summa cum laude. Gail Stewart LaPointe, cum laude. Denise A. Tavares, magna cum laude. Daryl Umland, summa cum laude. Paul Vello. I am pleased to announce the graduates of the Business Administration Transfer Program. Siddiqui Kondi, summa cum laude. Jeffrey M. Cosetta, cum laude. David J. Costa. Lynn K. Fagan, summa cum laude. Masi Falconero Booker, magna cum laude. Heather A. Flory, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Ann LaFleur. Laura Beth Pacheco, cum laude. Meredith Peters. George Pont, magna cum laude. Elena L. Robinson. Suzanne M. Raposo, summa cum laude. Thomas A. Scotty, Jr. Nicole Erica Veneer, summa cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of child care. Shannon E. Arujo, magna cum laude. Amanda Marie Johnson, magna cum laude. Jadalyn S. Kagan. Katie L. Nault, magna cum laude. Annette Nito, magna cum laude. Amanda Lee Rose. Sonia L. Slayway. Angela M. DeRosa. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Clinical Lab Science. Melissa A. Borges, magna cum laude. Natalie M. Rigo, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Communications. Jennifer Matos Arego. Victoria Ann Byrne. Raina V. Camacho. Roger A. Schwinier. Christopher P. Guavia. Stephen Michael Sanchez, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Computer Information Systems, Jennifer Marie Aguiar, 
Darlene Gabral, cum laude. Douglas J. Carrier, magna cum laude. Kevin Chappelle, cum laude. John G. Shaviri, summa cum laude. Cheryl Lynn Jackson Cordero, magna cum laude. Sean Diaz, magna cum laude. David J. Gozeminski, cum laude. Mary Ann Groda, summa cum laude. Ronald A. Hood, Jr., magna cum laude. Julian D. Lazaroff, summa cum laude. Renee L. Lasoil. Deborah L. McKeel. Rosemary Medeiros, magna cum laude. Penny M. Mello. Kevin Murphy, cum laude. Bassam A. Nessam. Gary J. Oliveira. Severin Petroff. Jeffrey C. Pierce, summa cum laude. Richard A. Quintel. Helder Manuel Soares Ribeiro, magna cum laude. Elizabeth J. Rodericks, magna cum laude. Hugo Rosso. Iva Maria Sabiani. John R. Tomaski. Priscilla Diane Wood, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of criminal justice, Derek B. Brega, Christine Marie Brazida, cum laude. Christina Marie Cambra. Elizabeth Fatima Correa. Kevin Scott Costa. Joseph Crapo. Robert A. Diaz. Jason W. Ferreira, magna cum laude. Mark J. Ferreira, cum laude. Elizabeth C. Garcia, cum laude. Michelle Lee Lavoy. Kelly McGee, cum laude. James B. Medeiros, cum laude. Naftali Marie Medeiros. Scott David Pacheco. Mary K. Peterson, magna cum laude. Christine Dawn Pereira, cum laude. Crystal Rose Pimentel. Francisco Monas Reese III. Eileen Raposa, cum laude. John W. Riley. Alfredo B. Silva, Jr., magna cum laude. Joanne P. Tavares, cum laude. Shannon Marie Woods, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Deaf Studies, Genevieve A. Fernandes.
Amy F. Lawrence. Audrey L. Mello, magna cum laude. Nicole M. Miller. I am pleased to announce the graduates of dental hygiene. Christine M. Bebo, cum laude. Ian Borges, also liberal arts. Lauren Mary Brady, magna cum laude. Alicia R. Buckley, cum laude. Janice Marie Currier. Amber J. Curtis, magna cum laude. Kristen A. DiZallo, magna cum laude. Karen Marie Frechette, magna cum laude. Julie Marie Lima. Teresa M. McFeeder, cum laude. Lauren Elizabeth Patchell. Aaron Lee Shrazinski. I am pleased to announce the graduates of early childhood education. Susan Aruda, summa cum laude. Anna P. Gabral. Emily Beth DeRoges. Wendy Marie Di Diago. Mary Gabral Gallego. Robin Lynn Jobert, magna cum laude. Laurie A. Thornton, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of elementary education, Renee Lind Amond, Paula M. Arego, Kristen Elizabeth Bergeron, Elena Blitzchen. Joy B. Borges. Holly L. DeMello, magna cum laude. Ashley Jane Dias, magna cum laude. Norman D. Dutra, Jr., magna cum laude. Erin K. Dyer. Dawn Marie Farias. Amy Lynn Gallant, cum laude. Kelly Jean Givens. Tammy L. Gluchaki, magna cum laude. Jennifer Gavir. Michael S. Kerstead. Jose Lee. Kelly Ann Martin. Kathy S. Medeiros. Monica Mello. Joshua Ryan Monast, magna cum laude. Matthew Pacheco. Tammy Lee Pereira, magna cum laude. Angelina Resendiz. Tiffany N. Rogers. 
I am pleased to announce the graduates of Engineering Technology, Jennifer L. Kamara, Catherine Dawn Carrier, cum laude, Donald N. Dupuy, summa cum laude, Janet Ferreira, summa cum laude, Jonathan Andrew Ferry, Fernanda Jimenez Labora, Jihad Edward Mata, magna cum laude, Christopher McKenna, Suthano Misse, David R. Perry, magna cum laude, Cheryl Ann Senior, magna cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of engineering transfer, Brian D. Crispin, summa cum laude, Stephen F. Luciano, magna cum laude, Mary Lou Mano, cum laude, Brian Mello, Brian E. St. Rock, summa cum laude, Tracy L. Willard, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of environmental science, Carol A. Bernier, magnum cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of fire science technology, Roger Roland Limber, magna cum laude. Stephen J. Petruska II. Leonard Joseph Williams, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of General Studies. Helena I. Almeida, summa cum laude. Dorothy Agia. Marie B. Bapo Baposa. Barbosa, excuse me. Estella A. Barrows. Kimberly A. Botello, also Thanatology Certificate. Kate Elizabeth Breton, magna cum laude. Charles Chum, cum laude. Dawn B. Conard, cum laude. Iktamal Dahir, magna cum laude. Elizabeth M. D'Souza, cum laude. Stephanie Fernandes. Frank E. Gaskell, cum laude. Cheryl M. Fio, summa cum laude. Kyle Evan Gauthier. Stephanie Amanda Gomes. Heidi Denise Harris. Maureen E. Horton, summa cum laude. Alyssa M. Johnson. Eugene P. Jones, summa cum laude. Maria Cobet, cum laude. Stephen Magison, also Thanatology Certificate, magna cum laude. Linda M. Mello, summa cum laude.
Kathleen Joyce Oliver. Lydia Perez. Sonia Marie Rolino, also medical assisting certificate. Christine E. Reed. Elizabeth Marie Rhodes, magna cum laude. David J. Rogers, summa cum laude. Flavio A. Royas. Shanique E. Rosa, also medical assisting certificate. Linda S. Ruana. Alex Selmayo, summa cum laude, also electronic multimedia certificate. David W. Silva. Lori Smith Green. Brandon Marshall Young. I am pleased to announce the graduates of healthcare information. Nancy A. Medeiros, also general studies. I am pleased to announce the graduates of human services. Heather Lee Agia. Bobby J. Austin. Jennifer L. Bastille, cum laude, also Thanatology Certificate. Nina Mays Betancourt. Laura L. Blake. Maria D. Borges, summa cum laude. Lori A. Britland, magna cum laude. Lynn M. Choquette Turner, cum laude. Carol Cieto. Elizabeth Marie De Silva. Jacqueline M. Ferreira Dumas, summa cum laude. Molly Kathleen Flaherty, magna cum laude. Jimmy Gomes, Jr. Taisha Gordon. Andrea Marie Hodavan. Angel LaFleur, cum laude. Helder A. Lopes. Amanda Ray Maciel. Stephanie Medina. Lawrence Michon. Also American Sign Language Certificate and Thanatology Certificate. Barbara Oliveira, summa cum laude. Robert J. Oliveira, cum laude. Sandra Marie Oliveira, magna cum laude. Tara Pavo. Michelle A. Perry. Natalie C. Pies. Michelle A. Raposo, summa cum laude, also thanatology certificate. Paula J. Santos, cum laude. Craig M. Simmons. John S. Smith II. Lisa Sorrentino. I am pleased to announce the graduates of liberal arts. Allison Joan Adamsik. Magna cum laude. 
Sandra P. Aruda, cum laude. Greg Bancroft, magna cum laude. Tammy L. Bastoni, magna cum laude. Jason David Bellew, cum laude. Claudette Y. Batello, summa cum laude. Lucia F. Cavallo, summa cum laude. Deborah M. Costa. Marco Antonio de Souza. Allison Constance Duat, cum laude. Erica Marie L. Romley. Melissa Ann Farrier. Jennifer Marie Fisher, magna cum laude. Michelle Marie Gant. Linda Ann Gowdy, summa cum laude. Alexand Alexandrini Maria Gomes, summa cum laude. Diodet Robin Govia. Tricia Lynn Jamison. Tatum M. Johnson. Linda Ruth Kohanek, summa cum laude. Melissa Tiffany Culpa, cum laude. Jean Elizabeth Lau, magna cum laude. Nicole Irene Monica Laquia, cum laude. Denisa Lopes. William Matthew. Dawn Huddleston Medeiros, magna cum laude. Justin J. Medeiros. Ben Edward Mello. Fatima Santos Mello, cum laude. Tony Montiel. Christine Ouellette. James D. Picardi, cum laude. Stephen Raposo. Chad Raymond Rodonitas. Anna Rosa, summa cum laude. Andre C. Santiago. Jane Simonin, summa cum laude. Stephanie V. Souza. Doreen Germain Souza, magna cum laude. Diane F. Tavares. David Vegas, summa cum laude. Catherine Elaine Wallace, also Thanatology Certificate, magna cum laude. Tanya Louise Wood. I am pleased to announce the graduates of nursing. Bethany J. Aiken, cum laude. Kathleen A. Bentley. Carolyn Marie Borges. Deborah A. Bosworth, magna cum laude. Elizabeth Rose Farias. 
Lisa Fontaine, magna cum laude. Sarah McGrath Gifford, cum laude. Sharon A. Gower, cum laude. Cheryl Ann Hito, cum laude. Susan Lee Howell, cum laude. Joan Stephanie Johnson. Amanda M. Kotowski, cum laude. Judith La Rochelle. Michelle L. Noon, summa cum laude. Lisa Pereira. Deborah A. Ryan, magna cum laude. Michelle D. Sarmento, also general studies. Tara Sinclair. Melissa Beth Souza. Mich Michelle Lee Vandenberg. Erica Lynn Zeta, cum laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Occupational Therapy Assistant, Karen Elizabeth Elaine, cum laude. Christine M. Auger, summa cum laude. Benjamin Fuertes, also General Studies. Shannon L. Heatherson. Dolores Jean Mandler, Simo Cum Laude. Barbara Ann Miranda, Cum Laude. Jessica Poera, Cum Laude. Lindsay M. Spencer, Cum Laude. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Office Administration, Melissa Adams. Lori J. Amaral. Elisa Ann Bergeron. Jennifer M. Bluen. Christine Ann Buckley. Christina M. Gabral. Lisa M. Cadiano. Jennifer Lynn Costa. Jeanette Fernandez, magna cum laude. Nancy A. Furtado, cum laude. Kathy L. Holmstrom, magna cum laude. Kerry Ann Peckham, cum laude. Marissa F. Souza, also medical assisting certificate. I am pleased to announce the graduates of early childhood education certificate, Kiva Cordero. I am pleased to announce the graduates of graphic design certificate, Rosette Mistakawi. I am pleased to announce the graduate of medical assisting certificate, Kenny Betancourt. I am pleased to announce the graduates of medical coding certificate, Linda Ann DuPont. I am pleased to announce the graduate of office administration certificate, Lori Ann Costa. I am pleased to announce the graduate of Retail Managing Certificate, Kenneth P. Of of Onofre. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Thanatology Certificate, Lori A. Mulcahy. Melissa Maureen Pacheco. Nicole M. Souza. 
I am pleased to announce the graduates of American Sign Language Deaf Study Certificate, Nadine Corey. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Therapeutic Massage, Corinne L. Givens. Sherry A. Massa. I am pleased to announce the graduates of Tourism and Hospitality Services, Lisa L. Sameo. Please be seated. I would like at this time, uh, one final time, for the graduates to recognize the faculty at Bristol Community College, the greatest faculty in the world. Would the faculty please rise? Please rise, faculty, so you can be recognized. greatest faculty in the world. I would like to take also this time to honor the families and friends of the graduates for the support that they have given to everyone. It's a great support network that you drew upon and I know you're very grateful. Before we have the recessional, I invite you to join us at a reception in the Commonwealth College Center immediately following these exercises. Graduates may pick up their diplomas in person at the cafeteria in the College Center. Please remain standing until the recessional is complete and all graduates have left the tent. I now declare these 35th annual commencement exercises of Bristol Community College to be concluded. Congratulations. <laughs>